Today I'm going to actually be going over a really cool VR device called Revolver or Revol VR. I'm pretty sure they meant Revolver, but as you can see how it is spelled. And I, I'm bringing you to their webpage first before I demo and go over the tech on the device because they are starting an Indiegogo page on February 23rd. I highly recommend supporting them if you have the funds to do so. Reason being, they're actually going to be making their software open source if this gets funded. I don't know what's going to happen if it doesn't get funded, um, but I, that would be awesome if, it, if this was open source. They have 3D printed versions. They have um, directions on how to create it. And I would just love to see more VR software from these guys. They're doing an amazing job. So let's jump right into it and go over to the device and go over to the technology. So if you haven't guessed by now, this is a VR game gun. Now this is their alpha version. It's 3D printed. They sent it to me for free. And it's a really basic design and it's a really interesting how this technology actually works. This is, I really have to give the software developer props for this. It's literally, you have the batteries, you have a little button switch here for the gun, but if you can see, you have a blue light, and the phone camera actually tracks the blue light, and then when you fire, it sets off a red LED, and it registers in the software as a fire mode. Now, this is really amazing, because you don't, this is not even Bluetooth, this is literally just two lights. That's all software, that's amazing what they're doing with this. Now, for the phone itself, you do need a light filter. They did send this little filter here that you tape onto your camera, and obviously this goes into the Google Cardboard or whatever phone case you have, the Gear VR, whatever the case may be, and it just it picks it up. Now, I just wanted to show you, if I could, what it looks like with the filter on. So this is what the camera actually sees. As you can tell, it's fi filtering out certain lights and certain colors. And this just comes, picks up beautifully. So that's the light it's tracking. Obviously, it has to be a bright blue because you're panning around my apartment. And really, that's this is the main source. And also, it helps filter out lights. That way, it doesn't affect the tracking. That looks out. Whoa! Those guys came out of nowhere. As you can see, the tracking is very responsive. Let's see if I can get a headshot on these guys. Headshot. Nice. Okay. How about that barrel? Very cool. So, I mean, as you can see, it's very responsive. Now, if I hold it over here and look over there, the gun doesn't come with me. It stays in, it stays in place because it's auto-tracking the blue light. Now, obviously, the range is based on the camera, as you can see. Now, unfortunately, if the gun is out of view a little bit, like that, as you can see, it's not going to be responsive. So it is based on the camera, so the closer you hold it, the more responsive it's going to be, the more light it's going to pick up from the actual device. The farther away your arm is, it's going to have issues. Also, um, if you have a lot of light in the room, and that light is bouncing off different colors. For instance, I have red posters in my front room. Um, that was messing up with the trigger. So that is one thing to keep in mind when you're using this. So yeah, this device has a lot of potential and it works pretty well. I would love to see more apps with this. So yeah, I cannot wait till they come out with more software for this, and it would be great if it was open source so you could create games for this. Obviously, it's literally just two LEDs and a button, and based on the devices that I saw that they were going to release, it is going to be really cool. So keep in mind, February 23rd, they are going to be having an Indiegogo, and I would say highly support it if you can. Have a great one.
think I'm looking at the camera. I don't even know. Nope. <laughs> Take it easy.